I'm a big fan of the four act structure for a novel. So let's talk about that. Of course, in the world of screenwriting, the Hollywood three act structure is the most common structure. And a lot of novelists also use this approach, the short first act, the big, huge second act and the shorter third act. But for me, I really feel like thinking of the novel in four acts is the most useful way to go about working on it. Let's talk about some of the benefits of thinking about your book as four acts. First off, it just chunks the book up into reasonably sized bites. I think that if we're looking at something like an 80,000 word novel, that three act structure gives us a 40, 50,000 word chunk of story. And there's just so much going on in there. To me, that's too much for an author or an editor to think about all at once. So I like the bite sized acts of four equally sized, for the most part, chunks of story in the book. I also think that using a four act structure allows us to better use mirroring. Is that the word? Did I say it right? Mirroring throughout the book. So that if we don't have a four act structure, we're going to see a lot of mirroring probably going on in the first act in the third act. But when you throw that midpoint break in there and we have a four act structure, suddenly we can start doing setups and payoffs in the second act, in the third act. It doesn't all have to be about returning to where we started. It gives us more opportunity to mirror and show differences set things up and pay them off. I just also think there's something psychologically motivating about thinking of the story in these four chunks, as opposed to entering the extraordinary world, you know, crossing that threshold into act two, and then just having nothing to look forward to, except maybe that plot point going into act three and ultimately the end of the book. If we break it up into four acts, we have that midpoint. It's just one more milestone to shoot for and one more little mini celebration to have. I've said it before, writing a novel is an extremely long gratification process. You got to wait a really long time before anyone cheers for you. And so when you can find those little victories along the way, like, hey, I made it to the midpoint shift. It's just one more thing to celebrate, one more thing to go after. Having a four act structure also creates what this whole series is going to be about, the midpoint shift. It gives us one more plot point, one more major turning point in the story where, where the trajectory of the story changes. If we are using a three-act structure, we really have that first plot point, the doorway of no return, the transition from the ordinary world into the extraordinary world, and then we have that transition from the extraordinary world into the final act. And you've got these big two plot points, but that's it. Throw a midpoint shift in there. It's just another opportunity for the story to take a major shift. And in doing so, really gain some energy. If you just have that 40,000, 50,000 word middle act with no midpoint shift, things can drag and get boring. And so I think adding that midpoint shift can invigorate the story by sending it in a new direction. Now, I'm not alone in my love of the 4X structure. You're gonna see writing instructors like Larry Brooks, James Scott Bell, Cam Wieland, these are some of the highest, um, most biggest people in the world of teaching the craft of writing. All of them like to use a 4X structure and like to use a midpoint shift. So we've got our four acts, we've got this midpoint shift. What are we gonna do with it? That's what we'll talk about next video.